Hi everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Thank you for clicking on the video today and joining me on Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. Today, we are back at the 2023 Louisville Manufactured Home Show out in Louisville, Kentucky, and we have seen some amazing homes so far here on display at the show. And I have a few more coming, but today we are going to take a tour of this home right here, which has just cracked my top five of all-time manufactured homes. This is the Auburn Air, model 0683C, built by Adventure Homes. This home right here is a three-bed, two-bath, and it sits at 2,040 square feet. I'm loving the style and design of this exterior, but just wait until we get inside. The base price for this home is about $179 thousand dollars but it will only go up there with all the features and amenities you're gonna want to add to it so without any further wait let's go take a home tour where's will Okay, everybody, join me on the inside of this home to see what makes it so amazing. So walking right on in, the first thing you see in your foyer here on to the left is a locker where you can store your shoes, your coats, and sit down and put on your shoes to get out the door. And on the other side of the entryway right here is where your living room is, and this is where it's situated. We have a beautiful, big, huge living room that comes with two or three huge windows to let that natural light in, so it's really gorgeous already I mean just take a pan around and take a look gorgeous those beams up top those are optional you can keep those you can get rid of those if you like I personally like them up there it comes with this beautiful huge entertainment center that has plenty of storage up top on the shelving with the cupboards underneath plenty plenty of storage with a little bit of shiplap there for your TV plenty of room for a huge TV the size of this living room is 16 feet 8 inches by 18 feet 2 inches and if you would like to know more about this home its amenities features additions options there's a link in the description below that you can click it'll take you directly to this floor plan and that's where you can see some more photos take a look at a 3d tour see some more video and most importantly get that pricing directly from a retailer that is near you because Pricing varies region to region, so click on that and find out more. And one more thing before I walk out of this living room, this carpet is amazing. We have Congolium flooring for all of the other flooring besides the carpet, but that carpet, wonderful, wonderful. One thing I like about this home is it is not an open floor plan. You have your living room there, which is situated off to the right, and then everything else is separate, which I love. And then look at that craftsmanship up there I mean the size of the dining room right here is 13 feet 10 inches by 14 feet 8 inches that again is another huge area for you and your family plenty of room in this dining room and kitchen for gatherings family friends and you name it you can do it in this home right here we also have our sliding glass door that is an option where you can have you know, there are normal two sliding glass doors, or you can have a third one like this home, which gives you way more light inside. We have a pantry that we're walking up to right here that has three wire shelves, looking pretty nice. That barn door, I do believe, is an optional piece. Yep, that is an optional barn door right there. You can change that for a regular door if you like. And then spinning around and looking at this kitchen, this is nice. We have some great trim molding, great countertops, wonderful white cabinets and drawers, uh, drawers over doors, everything else. We have a nice little uh, backsplash there, nice range hood to go along with your glass top stainless steel stove that comes with the home standard. Really nice. Spinning around, this, this kitchen has plenty of room and storage. And again, the quality in the inside of your cabinets and cupboards here are astounding. That is some great craftsmanship, great work, and great size. These are soft close drawers and doors, which is really cool for the little ones, you know, running around. They don't smash their fingers or, heck, I wouldn't smash my fingers, you know. Um, right there, if you saw, the registers are on the floor in this home. So that's where those are. We have a nice big island here with a dual sink, and I believe that's a gooseneck faucet there. Um, stainless steel dishwasher that goes along with it. Now, 
I like the the color choices and the countertops. You know, if you look at the countertops there, you have this kind of like marble kind of old school type of look, and then you have black uh, top on the island. That, that's pretty cool. It kind of it changes that color palette, changes your your view. I like the a the built-in microwave. Loving that uh, French door refrigerator. Beautiful, great lighting, and every day is an adventure if you're following this channel and if you haven't subscribed hit that button and follow along because we are everywhere um, I don't know where I'm going to next but you know right now we're walking into the utility room so going into the utility room here again plenty of room plenty of space plenty of cabinets for everything that you need uh, there's your room for your side-by-side -side set up for electrical in this home two cupboards here same quality, adjustable shelves, plenty of room for your laundry soap and things. There's your electrical box. We have a wash sink in here. And again, on this side, plenty of room. Now let us check out what's behind this door, and that is a closet. We have a wire shelf here. Now this seems to be board and batten in the closets, which saves, I guess, a little bit of money, but everything else is drywall, which is rather nice. Over here, we have your water heater. Nice. I love when a home just has a door for it. I mean, I, I think almost everybody can agree. There's your air conditioning unit right next door. Because, you know, if something goes wrong with any of those units, um, it's such it's so hard to, you know, find yourself a screwdriver, a quarter-inch driver, whatever to get into it. There, you open the door, let's fix the problem. Wonderful. I would prefer that any time of day. So let us go into our first guest room here. Now our first guest room right here would be 11 feet by 14 feet 8 inches. Kind of cool. And see again we have some board and batten in the closets but you know not a lot of people are going to see the closets. So I don't know how I feel about that. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know in the comments below actually. Nice window, and in this home right here, we have a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is, I don't know, I love Jack and Jill bathrooms, especially if you guys have any little ones and so forth, or, you know, it just makes it easier. You know they're going to get there, you know. Uh, dual vanities, good quality construction again. Um, big drawers, big drawers. Nice little backsplash there for, you know, us mess people. This glass, those are some etched glass uh, mirrors, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but they have a nice little design there. Elongated toilets, and we have a 60-inch um, a tub. Shower combo here, fiberglass, of course. Looking really nice. Good amount of room if you know again if you have littles and they're taking a bath this is like this is perfect bath bed boom loving it now let us go check out the other uh, bedroom here and now this one is a little small this one's a 10 foot by 14 feet 10 uh, 14 feet 8 inches so uh, one of the rooms is one foot smaller window take a look at this closet in a second good amount of space good amount of room and storage so you know I mean I'm really digging this house I mean again the, the separation the you know kids are playing over here we're in the living room watching TV we don't really bother each other you know a lot of open floor plans you can hear you know everybody else and or you know some of the things start getting pushed into other rooms so you know here everything has its designated place I'm loving that now taking a look at this guest room it's a pretty good sized guest room guest bathroom here um, same tub it's a 60 inch uh, five foot shower tub combo it's the same yeah. nice same elongated toilets throughout the home and a single vanity in here nice etched glass mirror again and a nice little accent there that is a nice little beam that uh, goes right in the middle of the home 
Now, you know, I travel all over the U.S., you know, capturing these home tours, um, going from Louisville to New York to Florida to California, and I enjoy this, and I thank everyone for clicking on the videos and joining me for these. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, you know, hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell, so then that way you'll always know when a new home tour is posted, and you'll see some great homes, you know, these great homes from little single whites to big, huge manufactured homes. I think the biggest one I've done is a quad wide. I would love to find another one. That's four pieces, everybody. Four. Now we're walking into the primary bedroom. And within this primary bedroom, this size is 14 feet 10 inches by 14 feet 8 inches. And there we have some barn doors that are optional. You can change that to regular doors, no doors. We have a nice big window there. We have the opportunity to have an optional window on the wall right there where the bed is if you like. Big spacious primary bedroom. And in here, the primary bath is amazing. Amazing. We have a linen closet right here. I know it's a linen closet because it told me so on the door. I might have thought it was a towel closet. Nope, it's a linen closet. And now spinning around, this this uh, home right here, this has the option glamour bath number two. That is uh, with a 60 inch tiled shower and a freestanding tub. And we have uh, two dual vanities right here with that same etched glass mirror and some nice lighting up top. And there is the tub. The freestanding tub is divine. That is gorgeous. We have two windows right there on the side. So depending on your privacy or wherever your home is, you can just kind of relax and look outside and then just enjoy life. Now spinning around, we're going to take a look at the rest of this primary uh, bath here and we have a wonderful like I said freestanding shower with a rain shower head and some great tile work Great tile work We have some more storage over here Good amount, good amount. And then there's your elongated toilet right off to the side, kind of its own little area. And then we have the primary walk-in closet. This is another huge area. In here, it is a uh, board and batten setup. We have um, some wire shelvings, transom windows, and then the little island there in the middle is optional. If you'd like to add a little more storage or setup space and everything else, but that is in a that's a gorgeous, huge walk-in. I'm loving that. I mean, this whole house I'm loving. Like I said, this has cracked my top five of manufactured homes. Um, I'm loving the style design. Um, what do you guys think about this home? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. We'll have a discussion about it um, and join me for the next one wherever that one's gonna be um, thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time wherever that home tour is gonna be um, remember to live smarter choose manufactured have a wonderful day and travel easy we'll see you next time